okay, so here we are, Robot in One Weekend, the modified Hurricane Irma version. Uh, we, everyone kind of scattered to the wind, thankfully not literally at this point, but uh, we had a skeleton crew that we got on a Google Hangout earlier this morning. So the first thing we did is we came up with uh, just the breakdown of how many points you can score in each zone, what, what, what can you do. We looked at some of the penalties. Um, and then we listed off everything a robot could do. So once we had looked through the whole list of everything of what we could do, uh, and we started comparing, comparing that versus the points, we saw the overlap of the glyphs, being able to score those glyphs. We came up with our goals was first off to control two glyphs. And when you, we're not saying that you have to hold two all the time, but you want to be able to control two. We don't want to drive back and forth scoring them. Um, but we definitely want to be able to score two being that uh, we can get to a position, pick one up and score it, possibly move down and score the second one or score two together. We don't think it's unreasonable to score at all four levels. You don't really have to get the robot, get that glyph a lot higher out of your chassis like we have in the past years. Not like we're talking about three feet, four feet like we have in past years. We do think that it'd be pretty easy to integrate some kind of simple jewel diverter, um, something that you could just flick the, the jewel off of its uh, respective pedestal we think that the main strategy is going to be relative to the glyphs. And we think with our mechanism for the glyph that we should be able to at least get a zone one drop. But depending on that design, it might be easy to either maximize it or put something else on the robot, depending on the space requirements, to get further than the first level. After we came up with those strategic goals, we started doing some really basic just drawings and figuring out what we wanted to do. Uh, as far as mechanical builds and coming up with some designs. Um, and the discussion we talked about four bars, we talked about doing a linear lift, we talked about doing a single jointed arm, um, but each of those designs really revolve around whatever the end effector is going to be. And that led us to our ultimate you know, goal for the end of the meeting, which is what are we prototyping first mechanically. So the first thing is a with a horizontal roller, are we talking about Holding one at a time, or are we talking about holding two at a time with that roller gripper? Uh, and, 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 and holding it and expelling it, uh, being able to score it. Uh, a basic squeeze gripper. <clears throat> and finally, uh, a, a kind of box with a scoop and a single roller on top. Uh, again, it might be a simple design that you can have something with one motor on it that you can pick things up. So from there, well, we're kind of at a holding point somewhat. Um, so we have Nick and Greg who are who were going to fly down for the build with us this year. Nick from Andy Mark, Greg from Rev Robotics. So they're going to be flying in. So basically, we said, hey, if you guys want to build some prototypes in your shops, do it. And then we said, and then even more. Now we're like, hey, anyone out there in the community, hey, if you have an idea for a prototype or you guys build a prototype this week, you know, send us a clip of the video. And what we're planning on doing is is we're going to keep the strategy the same of our main goal being holding only scoring two glyphs maybe a zone one, maybe a little further. Basically, the strategy is going to stay the same, and the overall design will relatively stay the same. But if you guys come up with some cool cardboard prototype, something simple with a little motor on it, send us a video of it. Uh, and if you guys want, you know, with your permission, we'll repackage it and send it out, or we'll retweet the links or something like that. Um, and then we'll take all that data that comes in, combine it in, and we'll build our robot next weekend. Send us those tweets, send us those links uh, of the videos that you do, and we're going to move forward, and hopefully we'll see you next week. So thanks, everyone.